Welcome back guys to CryptoFly channel. Today we'd like to show you Arkham Intelligence Platform. Let's dive in. First of all guys, this is a really, really useful tool, useful platform and you can create account. I recommend you go in the description below, find an invite link. And with this platform, you can create a lot of dashboards and track a lot of uh, information personally for you, uh, which you can use and it can help you a lot. When you create account, you will see your page, your portfolio, holding by chain, uh, all accounts, portfolio archive here, balance history, talking balance and all this stuff. Then you can create a private labels, someone like this one, you can create a label, uh, you can uh, create, um, you can mark and track these labels. Then you can use uh, a P key and connect to your website, for example, choose a language and add some uh, settings, right, for your account. On first page, first of all, you can see they already created some uh, data, what you can use. For example, this is a trending talking page. So this is Avalanche. I can click it here and open the page of Avax, Avalanche. Here, a lot of useful information about Avax. So for example, just visualize, for example, in one hour, 6,122 AVAX coins set it to Binance Hot Wallet. This is the inflow. Next one, it's outflow. Market maker Wintermute sent to the Binance in the last one hour, 5,477 AVAX coins, worth like 225K. Next one is top holders of Avalanche coins in general. So when you can track the price history, here's a chart of uh, trading view, here's the on-chain exchanges, inflow and outflow. For example, we can track the uh, 30 days on-chain exchanges inflow and outflow. So the biggest outflow was at the beginning of May, around 1 million outflow from uh, exchanges, in total exchanges, right? Then inflow. How you can use this information? So for example, you understand, let's take a look, one year. You understand here, if the coins inflow to exchange, it means maybe, maybe, we can't know. Uh, the people who inflow these coins into exchange, they maybe will sell it because no makes sense to send the millions coins to exchange because nobody hold the tokens on centralized exchanges, right? So basically before that dump, before they want to sell it, a few days before or maybe before some news, like now the people inflow the Ethereum to exchanges be because maybe Ethereum after Ethereum EDF uh, news, uh, are they approved or deny? Maybe they uh, pump price so high and the people are ready to sell. When you see the coins outflow from exchange, it means uh, the price can move higher because uh, nobody is selling. Almost zero seller pressure. And here's uh, just the basic transactions. So for example, I would like to find the portfolio of DWF Labs. It's giving me also a lot of information if, you, if I want to track the market makers. And yes, it's uh, much more interested to track the market makers than just the venture funds. So the venture funds hide their steps uh, behind the market makers. DWF Labs uh, portfolio and it's confirmed by uh, Arkham. This is uh, Twitter, this is a website. Uh, and here you can track the portfolio. They got Ethereum. This one is the price, this is the holdings. So they hold on DWF Labs, they hold now on their wallet 133 Ethereum. It's like a half a million. Let's go by holding by chains. It doesn't mean if uh, some market maker hold some token, it doesn't mean it's, it's going to skyrocket. But of course, you can track the portfolio and create even alerts. So when the market makers, for example, DWF Labs, add to their portfolio some new token, Maybe it means something, right? So you can track it. Uh, here's a portfolio issue. So the last week, uh, the price was 2K946. Uh, the DWF Labs hold 93 Ethereum. Then they add and the bot Ethereum. Now they hold like 133 Ethereum. And the price now is 3K658. So maybe they knew something, right? So you can track all these transactions. Here's the exchange usage. You can add any uh, filters here. Here is a deposit from which exchanges or maybe some wallets. Here is a withdrawals to which exchanges, right? Here's the borrows and the loans. Last one, here's the old transactions. Uh, here I can choose the network. For example, let's say Arbitrum. Uh, this is the last transaction DWF Labs with Arbitrum. 
I can track uh, by volume. For example, I would like to see the transaction worth like from 10K to billions. Right, so here two weeks ago, DWF Labs sent money to BitGet, uh, ROSX uh, token. Here's a balance history. Here's a token balance history, profit and losses. Market makers can be also in a losses. They are not all the time in profit. So take a look, like uh, 917K losses or 1.2 million losses. And here's a profit. So that's a the point. Then we can create the alerts for DWF Labs. Uh, we open a, another chain. So we can call some alerts, uh, alert description, DWF Labs. Transfer, do you want to see? You will see the transfer fr from or to this added this address. Uh, here, I would like to see DWF Labs. Got it. Uh, sender, I would like to see the Binance. Binance. And you will only see the transfer to these entities. I would like to, I would like to see the BNB. I would like to see some transfers uh, which start from 100k to, for example, uh, 10 million. Right. So what token volume? I would like to see this from 100 token to this one. Uh, search for the token. I would like to see the BNB. Got it. What chain? Um, Binance Smart Chain and choose the matter how I would like to get alerts. So my alert created. Now, every single time when I will see the uh, money from the Binance going to DWF Labs in Binance Smart Chain over then uh, 100K, I will get a notification to my email, for example, or to my Telegram, right? Let's go to Wizualizer. Let's take a look, DWF Labs once again. So we open the visualization of DWF Labs wallet. I would like to see the last uh, few weeks this one. So this is a visualization of all DWF Labs transactions. I can track any single wallet. This one. How many transactions do they uh, made? To this wallet, they made one transaction. I go to more info. I can filter. Uh, choose uh, which value. So I would like to track uh, the transactions over than 10k. Everything what is under 10k, zero interest. All right. So I would like to track. Uh, transactions only by Ethereum. Ethereum, this one. So I can see uh, it was only two transfers. This one, 35k and 86k. So this one in this time period, I can click on any of this transaction and take a look. So it was in May 15, right? Even at the time, uh, from Uniswap to DWF Labs. So 28 Ethereum. So here's a lot of information what you can track. Next one is Oracle. So basically it's a blockchain chat and the Intel exchange where you can uh, make some uh, analysis and provide uh, the data for selling, for example, on Arkham exchange. And the last feature I would like to show you the dashboards. So this is a really, really important feature here and the main one. So you go to the dashboard and uh, this is a dashboard which already created by other users. Open any dashboard, add to your own dashboards, you know, and track it. Track all this data because everything already created for you. So I would like to use this dashboard, top meme coins. I can save it, this one. So now in my save it dashboards, I will see top meme coins. Let's go back to top meme tokens. So this is the dashboard which uh, showing us all changes in 24 hour or a day for all main uh, tokens. Next one, you can explore the dashboards. You can uh, track the dashboards created by Arkham team or uh, choose uh, any dashboards from uh, community. So it's basically the same uh, users like uh, like you. So here's smart airdrop hunters. You open the dashboards. So we found the six smart airdrop hunters who have gotten nearly every massive airdrop in crypto. Arbitrum, Optimism, Blur, SOS, Lux, ENS, DeboteX, and many other coins uh, follow their transactions and you want to meet the next airdrop. What you can do with this dashboard? You can add save, copy this dashboard, then you can rename this dashboard, add some description, choose the thumbnail for this one. Maybe you would like to add any other addresses right to this dashboard and uh, press publish. So then the users, uh, when they explore the dashboards, they will find your dashboard and start using it. Or you create a dashboard from scratch. Create a dashboard, add description, add a name. So first one, description, 
this one choose the thumbnail add a tax in tax you can choose uh, for the people for users so you track some let's say the meme tokens right so it's for the meme done so the people will understand you press plus in this way you can add uh, the addresses or token intel so let's say that token intel and you can choose already created information so for example uh, i would like to track that token price i need to choose that token so i would like to track the dvd x dvd x native one how my dashboard we're gonna looks like i would like to see something like this one this is gonna be my dashboard next one i would like to add top token holders top token flow top token holders um, a top token exchange inflow uh, from which period from 30 days new x next one save it in this way i can drag and drop all the uh, blocks right so i can create my own dashboard uh personal for me history for example or a list of transactions or portfolio so i would like to track the portfolio of dwf labs this one save it so basically you build the blocks and create your own uh, dashboard personally for you arcom is basically the really really powerful tool and instrument uh, for everyone who joined in the crypto space i highly recommend you go into the description below once again and join into arcom intelligence i hope you like this video subscribe channel hit the like button hit the notification button don't forget to join my Telegram channel see you next time guys